so in this lecture we will be studying about conditional operator so let's see what are conditional operators so this is something like written the main thing to understand is it has a question mark which says okay we have some condition so it looks like expression 1 is it true if it is true then expression 2 is evaluated or otherwise expression 3 is evaluated so let's see with a concrete example so we have a is equal to 10 b is equal to 15 so now int x is equal to so is a greater than b so this is an expression a question mark if yes then a is b so this means what so this is expression 1 this is expression 2 this is expression 3 so if this expression 1 is true so which means 10 is 10 greater than 15 so it is not true so expression 3 will be evaluated and x will become equal to b which is equal to 15. So equivalent of this is if a is greater than b if this is true x is equal to a else x should be equal to b. So this is about conditional operator. So now let's look about some bitwise operator. So what are bitwise operators? So as you know, so let's say that we have a number which is 7 something like again we have a number 14. So this is represented as 1 1 1. So if we have a 4 bit number, so this is 0 1 1 1 and this will be 8 plus 2 so 8 will be this 8 plus 2 so this is 8 plus 2 plus 4 so which means it will be 0 1 1 1 so this is the 14 so these are some binary numbers binary representation of numbers So we have to understand about binary representation so 14 is equal to 1110 to the base 2 so now what happens is that we have bitwise operators so it means that okay ampersand means bitwise and this means bit wise or this is zor bit wise and then we have left shift operator and this is right shift operator so these are the different bitwise operators we have so what it says so let's see the ampersand one so if we have let's take this example 7 and so if we do 7 ampersand 14 so this will become equal to 0 1 1 1 and then 1 1 1 0 and we are ampersanding so this is 0 this is 1 1 and this is 0 so the value will become equal to 2 plus 4 which is 6 so this is the answer for 7 ampersand 14 let's take some other examples so let's have so take 7 or with 14 so it will become 0 1 1 and 1 1 1 0 
so it will be 1 1 1 1 so it will be all ones and it will be 15 so let's see the zor operation of 7 zor with 14 so we have 0 1 1 1 and 1 1 1 0 so it, this is zor operation this is 1 0 0 1 so this is basically 8 plus 1 9 so we saw about the bitwise operation of numbers so first step is that we need to represent the first step is represent number in binary and then do bitwise operation so another is let's say we have 8 bit number so if it is 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 so let's say this is the number these are the first four bits last four bits and so this number is now binary representation of 2 to the power of 1 plus 2 square plus 2 to the power of 4 which is 2 plus 4 plus 16 equal to 22 so if I do 22 left shift by 2 so it will become now equal to so all the numbers are shifted and here zeros are flushed in so now shift of 2 so these numbers are gone so number will become 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 so this is 2 to the power of 0 1 2 3 2 to the power of 3 2 to the power of 4 and 2 to the power of 6 so this is equivalent to 2 to the power of 6 plus 2 to the power of 4 plus 2 to the power of 3 which is 64 plus 16 plus 8 so which is 88 so this is the number so this is the left shift and sim similarly right shift is the opposite in which case if we have 22 by 1 so it will be we shift here so it will become 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 so everything is right shifted so 1 0 will be added in the left so this number becomes 2 to the power of 0 plus 2 to the power of 1 plus 2 cube so it is 8 plus 2 plus 1 which is equal to 11 so we see that it is basically we do right shift by some number so it will get divided by 22 divided by 2 to the power of 1 which is 11 if we do left shift by some number so it is 22 into 2 to the power of 2 which is 22 into 4 which is 88 so this was about the bitwise operators we will end our lecture here so in this lecture so we learnt about first is conditional operators where we evaluated some expression was evaluated if it was to the first expression was taken otherwise the second expression was taken then we saw about bitwise operators and or zor left shift and right shift and we saw some examples